a quick disclaimer. I tried to make this video about a month ago for Go Skateboarding Day because I wanted to use my GH5 with a 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens and a 17 to 55 millimeter constant f2.8 lens. I followed a tutorial that I thought was from a very reputable YouTuber and it ended up smashing my speed booster to pieces. Needless to say, I still use that broken speed booster, filmed the video and my clients were happy. And to the best of my ability, I thought I worked within those guidelines of all the setup I had and played into the strengths rather than the weakness. One month later, here we are filming the video again. I do have another speed booster, good to go. And now I guess we can benefit from hindsight and the wisdom gained from it. And I could tell you the best way to go about modding your lenses without breaking anything or doing anything completely drastic to your setup. Now, although this video is catered more or less to Micro Four Thirds users who want to adapt lenses or Canon users who are graduating from their crop sensors to full frame and they're wondering if they can take their EFS lens. I think everyone should watch this video who's a photo nerd, not because I'm trying to swindle you into watching my stupid boring explainer video, but I think you could benefit from it at large. So without further ado, Five, four, Let me show you how to get the Canon 10 to 18 and 17 to 55 to work on your full frames or maybe your micro four thirds. So we're gonna go easiest to hardest here. Now, Canon 10 to 18 here is a great lens and the reason you might want to adapt it to your other systems, for me, I'm using the GH5 with this mostly because it's a very, very small and lightweight lens and it makes for a great setup on the go. And I wanted to use this for my skate videos because it is so small and I'm not a big fan of fish eyes. So I kept it all these years and I've breathed new life into it by adapting it to my GH5. Now first I'll run through how to adapt it, then I'll say a few words on the performance. So if I pop this off and I'll show you, I have the metal bayonet on the back. So the most popular way to do this I've seen was to literally lop off the back of this. And I thought that is an awful way to do it. Not dogging that YouTuber that said this is a good idea. I just didn't want to do it. Instead, I bought the metal bayonet mount and I went ahead and put it on. I won't go through a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mount the metal bayonet because it is rather easy. All you do is unscrew the plastic bit and put on the metal. It's pretty straightforward. And overall, I am pleased with the results. Now keep in mind, I am using the GH5 with the Viltrox uh, third-party adapter here. Now, although I do love this camera, I can admit that the autofocus is slow. There's better versions on the market. And if you get the Metal Bones adapter, I'm sure it's gonna be leaps and bounds faster than my Viltrox here. But I am pleased with the results and it does focus and do what it's supposed to rather quickly. In real time, I'll show you me focusing on Toby here. All right, here's my sleeping cat. Pretty darn quick. So if it can work on my contrast-based focus system I have with the GH5 and just the Viltrox cheap adapter here, it'll work wonders on just about any other system out there. I've also used that 10 to 18 with my Canon 60 and my SL2, both with native and pleasing results. And another thing I just wanna mention, just because it's an EFS lens, it doesn't mean it's a poor quality. The glass is very well sharp. Granted, if you do use it on a full frame camera, you are gonna have to zoom in a tiny bit because there's gonna be a little bit of vignetting around the corners. But other than that, setup works nicely for photos and videos. Now, another reason you might wanna use an EFS lens lens on your full frame Canon system, or even adapt it to your mirrorless systems, which I did using my seeker camera that I'm gonna talk about in a future video. This one, my, is again, because this is a very, very lightweight lens. Now for Canon users, especially say you're using the 6D2 and you're looking for a cheap vlogging lens, this is probably your Huckleberry. Now aside from the 10 to 18 being lightweight, it also has image stabilization, which will work wonders on your non IBIS Canon cameras. So I'll circle back and let me show you a sample video that I filmed with the 10 to 18 on my GH5. Now keep in mind, I had to replace the music cause YouTube doesn't like uh, copyrights, but if you wanna see the original version, it's on my Instagram.
Again, because the speed booster, I have it right here, was broken, you could notice in a few spots when it seemed a little bit soft, and I did directly point it at the sun for a nice, cool effect. I didn't want that. I didn't ask for any of that. But I worked with what I had because I am not a rich YouTuber. <laughs> but aside from that, I had a good time using it. I didn't open up the aperture all the way. I was filming skateboarding, so I had to close it down because lateral movement and the GH5. Now the second lens I tried to mod was the 17-55 f2.8 and this is the one that actually broke my speed booster. Again one of the popular videos I saw on how to mod this involved yet again breaking a piece in order for it to work. I'm not going to mention the name, I'm not going to dog the guy either because he probably meant no harm in doing so, but what he wanted you to do was take some pliers and yank it out and in doing so it broke his gasket on the back and for me i'm not trying to break anything the point of me making this video is to show you the absolute lowest risk highest reward option possible and i just don't think he really thought out that video so this takes maybe 10 seconds and you won't break anything check this out so we're gonna go step one like he did put your lens all the way out step two leave those vice grips in your dad's toolbox do not run and grab them instead use your muscles look at this Put your thumb in the back, and just pop it out. So now you have the back out and you can use this with your full frame Canon cameras. So the reason the 17 to 55 F2.8 does not work with your full frames or even your speed boosters is because this part, the gasket here, sticks out way too much. Doing this, it's not weather sealed or weatherproofed in any way. So I would use this with caution. However, because you didn't break it or reef it out, you can put it back in when you need it, like that. So originally this mod really caught my attention because I wanted to use this with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, but it didn't work. Uh, at least with my setup, because I do have the Viltrox adapter. The aperture stayed at zero and it wasn't registered with that camera, nor was it registered with this either. But this does work with my Canon 6D very, very well. Again, you're gonna have to zoom in a bit for it to not get any vignetting, but the lens is very well sharp and you still get a nice range to use this with. So again, let me show you this mod because it's so easy and you don't break anything. Look at this. Out, you pop it back in. So in short, with a 17 to 55, it works very well with your full frame Canon cameras. I can't speak for the GH5 because it just doesn't work with my current setup. Maybe it does with the Metabones, let me know in the comments, but use this maybe if you have the Canon 6D too. So that's it for now. I'll drop a link to the metal bayonets in the description below. But yes, I wanted to make a short video showing you how to mod these lenses without lopping, without chopping, or breaking anything in doing so. My closing thoughts are just use your brain. I can't just go and start ground and pounding my lenses because I saw it on YouTube. I want to get the most out of them and maybe flip them later on if I need to sell my stuff for money. So yes, that's it. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to Matt Snow's Instagram or Trappy Chan, my fun account. I'll leave them both in the description. Maybe check out my website. Enough with the links and the babbling. I love you. See you next time.